tryna keep a lot down They said we can't come around I'll be stuck they have us locked down, but I got that good news. Can't get the cross down. We don't need church in the building. We be the church and we build in. Grab me the tools, time to go fishing. Can't take a cruise, grind with the mission. Some people cry, some people die. Stop on the surface, grab up the line. I got the. Bible prophecy is coming to pass, y'all. One world government is coming. They're going to hand it over straight to the Antichrist. Bible prophecy is coming to pass. Get right. Amen. Amen. Get right with God, man. Troubled times are coming. Troubled times are coming. Get right with God. Troubled times are coming. This is prophesied in the Bible. This is prophesied in the Bible. I got one, bro. You got it? Yeah, I got it. You God bless you. Yeah, I'm going to reach out to him, too. Yeah. Bible prophecy is being fulfilled right before our eyes. Right before our very eyes, Bible prophecy is being fulfilled. Uh, yeah, I got one, bro. Okay. Yeah, I got one. Thank you, man. Amen. God bless. Christ coming back. To eat more healthfully to take the antiviral herbs. Exercise, get Amen, bro. Christ coming back. It's we in the end times. He's coming back. America return back to God in Jesus' holy name. Amen. Amen. Amen, brothers. Amen. God bless y'all. We in the end times, man. Christ said that this stuff will happen before His return. Revelation, it's, it's right there. Right. <laughs> yep, that one world government, yep, the governments will hand over Babylon to the beast, mm -hmm. and then the great tribulation, and Christ will return That's right. to to hand judgment on the wicked. And it's happening right before our eyes, man. People can't see it. <laughs> it's hot, man. Can I interview you, brother? Yeah, bro. What's your name, first of all? My name is John. John. John Jackson. Yep. <laughs> Oh, Tate. God bless you, Chris. Indiana. Indiana, okay. So where you come from? I'm from this area, the DMV. Okay. Yeah, I live in Maryland, though. Okay, yep. so does Maryland have vaccine mandates? Um, No, not man mandates, but like private businesses. Okay. I just got fired from my job oh, wow. for not taking the vaccine. It was a university. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, man, it's... But God's got me. I got yeah. peace. He's our yeah. provider. Yeah. As we're ambassadors for Christ, yeah. the king's going to take care of his people. Mm -hmm. So that's where my faith is right now. Well, I, I like your uh, sweatshirt, and um, yeah, I see you out here yeah. preaching the message. So what, what, is, uh, like, what is it that motivates you to come out today? So, you know, I, I support the movement. Mm -hmm. I support the, the rally, what's going on, because it is evil that's going on. But I came out here to also give the bigger picture. Uh, to people you know because like yeah. we said earlier the bible tells us this yeah. stuff yeah and you know this bible prophecy has to be fulfilled yeah so times are only going to get worse yeah you know i know we're making the stand making our voice heard yeah. but the bible is coming to pass and we have to prepare people to endure these tough times especially and link the body of christ together yeah. so i'm happy to meet you brothers out here so we can all link with each other Amen. you know Amen. now just from the speakers that we heard uh -huh. you know some people were, were they were definitely saying some good things yeah well, what would you have liked to, to 
hear or if you had an opportunity to speak to, um, to all these people, like, what do you think needed to be said that maybe wasn't said? Okay, so to be honest, we had went down there to go preach, so I didn't hear all the speakers, okay. but I heard, you know, the um, co uh, the vaccine injured people mm -hmm. and uh, some of the people before them. Yeah. But um, you know, like I said, I can't really speak on that because I didn't hear. Okay. But you know, what I wish that was said well, was. What is your message out here today? I mean, you know, like the bigger picture. You said the bigger picture. What do you feel like that is? The big, bigger picture is to prepare for these tough times that are coming. Yeah. And to really seek God and get to know him and repent of our sins you know because that sin is what destroys God's world that's right. and that's what he hates the most you know right. but like I said the Bible says before he returns in 2nd Thessalonians what was it chapter 2 mm -hmm. Paul said um, the gathering you know but uh, to be gathered up to Christ two things was happen first and that's the falling away, falling away. and the, the man of sin must be revealed so we are in those times and we can see it rapidly take you know taking over right now yeah, yeah. and then you know all these agendas the 2030 agenda yeah you know they want all this done by 2030 yeah so it's going to be rapid mm -hmm. and we're going to see some terrible things happening yeah but our faith is what keep us strong mm -hmm. you know and god jesus told us to endure to the end yeah. and we must endure but that's only by having faith in him and also doing the Great Commission. Now, now you said troublous times are coming upon uh -huh. upon this country. Like, yeah. do you uh, do you believe that the church is going to be here uh, to face the, uh, the the time of trouble, the market of abuse? Yes, I say that because I did my research mm -hmm. and I studied the scriptures. I could not find anything saying that we won't be here. Amen. And Daniel says that the the Antichrist wage war with the saints. Mm -hmm. And then um, my brother Jan Lewis from the ALC Network, I don't know if you heard of that channel on YouTube, but he has a, a, a good documentary on who the two witnesses are. Yeah. And the, the angel said the two witnesses are the, the um, two lampstands and the two olive trees. Yeah. It doesn't say that they're Enoch and Elijah. Yeah. And Jesus told us in Matthew, he said, John, uh, Elijah, the uh, fulfillment of Malachi chapter 4 that he came in the spirit of, um, of John the Baptist yeah. Elijah John the Baptist had the spirit of Elijah yeah. so he fulfilled that you know prophecy yeah. and John the Baptist prepared the way for Christ's first coming but the two witnesses he will give us power to represent him one last time yeah to get people to repent and prepare the way for his second coming yeah so we have to get right with God and the characteristics of the two witnesses is that you find it in Revelation chapter 2 and 3 mm -hmm. it says we'll be like the church of Smyrna in Philadelphia God's persecuted church and his faithful church Jesus had no complaints about these two churches yeah. that's why he will give us power in these last days to represent the kingdom one last time and then it says after that and the beast will rise from the bottomless pit and make war with us and, well, and yeah. The popular teaching. Right. And, and this is the devil's ploy. I mean, yeah. Is to put everyone, love everybody asleep, and they're thinking that you're going to be raptured away. Right. And you're not going to have to face the tribulation. Right. Christ himself had to right. be on the cross. Right. Exactly. Right. Be shaking it better. They're going to be throwing the fire. The fire furnace. Exactly. What, what, what makes us any better? Exactly, We're brother. Just have this easy. Nah. <laughs> this easy, <laughs> yep. And, and what are people in the last days? Right. Who, who is it that won't be able to buy ourselves? Right. If all the races are in heaven. Right. No, exactly, bro. And and when you really seek God, you'll find that out. You know, it took I believed in the pre-trip left behind series and everything, you know. But when I really uh, took the time to see God for myself, that's when he revealed, you know, his his word. The Holy Spirit reveals all truth. Yeah. And it just made sense, you know, and then the revelation of the two witnesses that we are those people yeah. and we will be here. Because the whole book of Revelation is the redemption of the body of Christ. Yeah. We're going to be attacked by the Antichrist spirit and the Antichrist. But Christ is going to uh, uh, give us victory at the end. He's going to raise us up to him at the end.
Amen. Well, I appreciate you being out here. Yes, sir. Well, it sounds like we're, 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 we're very much on the same page. Praise God. Uh, did you get one of those? This, this actually no, I don't. This actually goes into okay. you know, the, the, the Antichrist. And, yeah. You know, all the Protestant okay. reformers agreed on the Antichrist. Yeah. You know, okay. Back in the days, but, right. You know, over time, the Jesuits uh, right. confused everyone. Right. You know, I, I think you'll, you'll really. Okay. So, all right. I'll take it. I'll definitely take a look at this. Thanks for taking the interview. Man. Yes. That's indeed. Yep. So maybe we'll see each other again someday. Yeah, man. If not here, Great. in heaven, Amen. man. <laughs> Amen. Yes, indeed. Don't let discourage you, man. Yep. And, and keep proclaiming that word. I mean, we were, we were uh, there. And yeah. We were like, yeah, I wish they would say something about Jesus. A lot of people talk about God. And, yeah. And, and they were saying a lot of good things. But, yeah. But, you know, like nothing about Jesus. Jesus. Politically correct. No prayer. <laughs> right. And, uh, right. You know, uh, what is our hope? Right. And it's always in the arm of flesh. Right. But, yep. Because you know, now it's that new age universal God yep. that people want to, you know, uh, flock to, <laughs> you know? That's so true. So it's a lot of deception out here, like the Bible says it's going to be. Right. <laughs> so we have to stay in the truth and, and stand strong on it. Amen. You know, they said, but Jesus said, no one is greater than his master. Mm -hmm. So we're going to suffer persecution for the truth. Yeah, we just gotta get our minds ready for that. That's right. Yep. Yeah. Yes, indeed. But yeah, God bless you guys. You know, I, you say you're from Indiana. From, from Indiana. I used to live oh. in, in Maryland, but okay. I moved to Indiana some years ago. Okay. So yeah, but um, how is it out there? How? Uh, it's it's, it's, uh, it's, it's actually good, way better pretty good. Than here, okay. Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. Okay. How's the body of Christ out there? Um, and, you know, I'm afraid. <laughs> <laughs> Gotcha. Like 25 people that go to our church. Oh, wow. Are, uh, yeah. Oh, wow. Gotcha. Going, you know, yeah. Kind of, you know, people active and they can kind of help the community. Yeah. Because we, we strongly believe also in the natural herbs and stuff that help heal the sick and all okay. that. Okay. You know, we, we, we don't, you know, we try to educate away from right. the, the conventional right. system of healing. Right. Because it's not just the vaccine, there's a lot of other stuff. Yeah. And they, you know, yeah. drive in and... You know, like they say, well, it's not, you know, um, you know the, like they're speeding to get the vaccines, but mm -hmm. really, you know, these drugs, man, a lot of them are. Yeah. The Bible calls it sorcery. That's right. <laughs> uh, Pharmakia. Pharmakia. Yeah. Pharma yeah. Yep. Sorcery, man. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, like. Trying to promote, you know. Yeah. Stuff. No, that's good. Yep. I tried you to. You have a word of prayer, for, a prayer for everybody out here. Okay. I know this, uh, you know, me broadcasting. Here. Okay, it's, praise it's, God. It's call people to. All right. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Come in the name of Jesus Christ, the way, the truth, and the life. Just going to say a prayer for today's event. I heard it didn't end in prayer. <laughs> Father God, Lord. We just thank you, Father God, for everybody that's out here, Lord God. Lord, we know that behind this pandemic, you have prophesied this in your word, Father God, that in the last days that this would happen. Lord, we want people to see the full truth of your word, Lord God, that you are who you say you are, Lord God. And that we, as a nation, need to turn back to you. Because you are alive and well. We all have to die one day. We all have to take our last breath one day. And the word of God teaches us where we will go after we take our last breath. And that's to be with the Lord or to be separated from him. So I'm calling America to turn back to the Lord Jesus Christ. Turn back to the Lord Jesus Christ. We are in an evil world, wicked world. We can see what's going on right now. And it's pure evil. But Christ, he wants to give you a new heart. He wants you to become born again so that you may seek his righteousness. 
That's how you enter the kingdom of heaven. It's to trust in the Lord Jesus Christ. We all have sinned and fell short of the glory of God. We all broke God's law. Sin is what separates us from God. Sin is what destroys this world. Murder is what destroys this world. Adultery is what destroys this world. Stealing is what destroys this world. The Bible says that the Ten Commandments are written on our heart. We know what's right and what's wrong. We know it. Just like you go into a courtroom, you rob the bank, and you stand before a just judge, and you say, Judge, I've done so much good in my life, but what is a just judge going to say? He's going to say, well, good for you. You have to still pay the penalty for your crime. And that's what God, Yahweh, the God of the Bible will do to everybody. There's a judgment day coming and it's coming fast. Repent, guys. Jesus, he is that. He, he's the mercy that God extended to the whole world for our sins. And will you accept him? He will renew your heart. It's a personal miracle. A wicked man turning to seek after God's righteousness. It's the best thing that ever happened to me and these brothers right here. We wouldn't be out here. I would be at home playing Call of Duty or something, but this is very important. Christ is the answer. He's the only way. Amen. He's the only way. You can't, you can't, your good deeds can't outweigh your bad deeds. It can't. That's impossible. It's impossible. So I'm gonna leave that right here. And if you have any questions, feel free to come to us right now and we will answer your questions about the true and living God. It'll be the best decision of your life. To Jesus be the glory. Amen. Amen, brothers. I love y'all. Thank you for the time, y'all. Is y'all information on in the book? Uh, no, okay. Along with the protest, my for friend, Christ, this is his ministry, his personal ministry. Okay, cool, bro. Uh, I'll catch up with you guys, okay? Let know I might be in Indiana one day. Yep. Amen, bro. Love y'all. Amen, bro. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Forgive me, how did we fall? We had it all. He gave us victory up on the cross. We gotta bring the church out to four walls, yeah. Too many shots.